hospitality in this series of videos will discuss dislocations. You may wonder why we should care about dislocations in crystalline materials. In structural materials, the glide and the multiplications of dislocations govern the mechanical properties, including strength and ductility. The example here shows the dislocation distribution in a deformed magnesium alloy. The TEM images were taken by my student De Xing Zhao. If there is a way we can hinder the free movement of dislocations, then we can strengthen the material. Similarly, for the functional materials, dislocations can govern the functionalities such as the electron and the phonon transport behavior. In the example on the right, you can see the dislocations going through the thickness of the gallium arsenide thin films. In both examples, dislocation lines appear to be bright lines in those images. The third reason I didn't put it on the slide is because my research involves quite a bit of dislocations. I learned a lot about dislocations from Professor Kevin Hamker when I was a postdoc with him. I'd like to share what I've learned from him with you as well. The following video clips can be grouped into four parts. In the first part, we'll cover the dislocation fundamentals. We'll talk about the types of defects in crystalline materials from zero-dimensional to three-dimensional. We'll also discuss the types of dislocations, elastic properties of dislocations, and how we can observe dislocations using different characterization techniques. If you have taken undergrad material science class, you can see the dislocation on the left is an edge dislocation, the one on the right is a screw dislocation. In the second part, we'll cover dislocations in crystalline materials. We will discuss dislocations in FCC, BCC, and HCP metals, as well as in other crystal systems. The example shown on this slide shows the partial dislocation core structures in FCC metals. In the third part, we'll discuss the dislocations in motion that includes dislocation slip, dislocation climb, kinks and jogs, as well as dislocation multiplications. The example here is taken from the UCLA Material Science website. The example depicts the dislocation activities when you compress nanopillars. Dislocation activities are modeled using dislocation dynamic simulations. In the last part, we'll discuss dislocations and the strength of crystalline solids. We'll look at the lattice friction, then dislocation grain boundary, dislocation dislocation, dislocation solute, and dislocation precipitate interactions. The example on this slide shows the interaction of dislocation lines with the precipitates in a magnesium alloy using the molecular dynamics simulations. For references, we'll use the textbook by Holland Bacon, as well as the website of Professor Helmut Fuhr, if you are interested in learning more about dislocations, these are two really good resources. Many images you see in the future videos will be from these two resources, as well as from my research, journal papers, and the internet. From the next video, the journey begins, and we'll start by discussing the types of defects in crystalline solids.